everyone, Cassidy Quinn here in my living room because today we are going to make a face mask. Both the CDC and the White House are now recommending that we all wear cloth face coverings when we go out in public to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Just to be clear, this is still voluntary and it is in addition to still practicing social distancing. So you've already had that thought pop up in your head of I should go buy a face mask. So you go on the internet and realize um, they might take forever to get to you. There are long waits and they also cost money. So today, using only supplies you most likely have in your house already, we are going to DIY a face mask. Here is all you need. A bandana or an old t-shirt, a pair of scissors, a ruler or measuring tape, and two rubber bands. This does not require any sewing machine, any glue, any staples, because I don't know about you, but I would have to go to the store to get those things. <laughs> I am following a tutorial I found on YouTube from Kristen Omdahl. In her video, Kristen uses a bandana because it's the perfect size to do this face mask tutorial, but I do not have any bandanas at my house, so I have just raided our bin of old t-shirts and found this one with a hole in it, perfect to make into a face mask today. But since I'm using this instead of a bandana, the first step is to cut this into the size of a bandana, which is 22 inches by 22 inches. So we just take one edge, fold it to the middle. Take the other edge, fold it to the middle, flip it upside down. Now we're gonna fold both sides to the middle Again, take our rubber bands, put one on this side, put one on the other side, flip it over again, then we're gonna take this side, fold it in, take this side, fold it in, and you can kinda tuck the edges into the other edges. I'm gonna cut off some of these extra bits, just cause there's too much fabric there. And there we have our homemade DIY face mask. Look, it works! Of course, if you want to make it so that it doesn't start unfolding or just so it lasts longer and stays in place, you could just sew a little seam around that inside rubber band. I'm going to do that with mine, just a couple stitches sewn by hand, quick and easy, but then I can cut off this extra fabric and not have all of it in my face. Or if you want to take it one step further, after you do that sewing part, you'll have a little casing on each side of your mask. So you can make alternate straps by cutting off basically two one inch wide strips off of your t-shirt and then using a safety pin on the end of the piece of fabric, you can just string it through the edge of the mask, then use those as ties to tie it around the back of your head. For me, this made the mask actually stay in place a lot better. I didn't have to worry about the rubber bands falling off of my ears and also having rubber bands on my ears for a while. Not the most comfortable thing. It just depends on how fancy you wanna get or how soon you want to go to the grocery store. And just to be clear, these are not to replace the medical grade, surgical grade masks that the healthcare professionals wear. These are just for people like you and me when we wanna go out in public, again, still only when it is necessary and still staying six feet away from other people as much as possible. Keep practicing your social distancing. Please, if you make one of these masks, send us a picture to KGW or to me, Cassidy Quinn, so we can all look cool and stay safe together. <laughs>